Web Bush Securities' Dan Ives is here at Post 9. We know that Tuesday is going to be a big day. You say the clock has struck midnight. And the line that stuck out to me, uh, trading in the Model 2 for Robo would be a tragic gamble, in your opinion. I, I think it would be a gamble that could maybe even define the future of Tesla in the next three to five years. And I think right now the big nervousness is Model 2, that's a key part of the growth. That's 50 to 60 percent of the incremental growth next two or three years. Robotaxis, autonomous, that's not for another five to six years. And I'd say, look, we've seen over the last decade, we've been through a lot of white knuckle moments from Musk and Tesla. This is up there. And this has really been a Cinderella story that in the near term has really turned into a nightmare on Elm Street. He, it all starts next Tuesday needs to control the narrative because if there's no adult in the room there could be darker days ahead so he, if, if he really does say we're, we're, we're going to play this long game and it's going to come at the expense of the two you would re-rate that would be if that happened it would be a disaster of epic proportions because in the near term and you've seen others throw in the white towel because of the fears of that and because of some of the stuff that's reported that would really put a massive black hole or gap in the growth for the next few years. And if you look at the last sort of 2015, 2018, there were levers that Musk could pull and ultimately did pull. And that's why it's, you know, you've seen the, the history. But this for the, I'd say for the first time in five, six years, long-term Tesla bulls are really calling, feels like they're about to hit the elevator if they don't hear what they want on Tuesday. Why are analysts like you and investors so downbeat on the prospect of the robo-taxi future? Bullish on robo-taxis, bullish on autonomy. The problem is this would be like Cook on, you know, on May 2nd coming out and being like, okay, iPhone 15. Now, look, we're not going to have anything till iPhone 21. But trust us, <laughs> thanks for being on the conference call. So that's the problem is that we're bullish. It's always worked term. for him before. Exactly. And I think now the difference is you need a refresh. Competition come from all angles. Game of Thrones that we're seeing in China. And the credibility for Musk has definitely been questioned because the last two conference calls we've talked about on the show, those have been train wreck horror shows. So this, it all comes down to clock struck midnight. Tuesday night, adult in the room needs to step up, navigate the story. And that's why we call it a fork in the road moment. We are still bullish on the long-term Tesla story, but this is a Category 5 storm, and the pilot on the plane can't be Ted Stryker. But what, what, what to you, there, there's a lot of just analogies and stuff there. But what do, you, what do you want to hear? Because the China competition is not in Tesla's control. Yeah, you need to hear four things. One, what's the growth strategy in China? How are we going to reverse the trend that we're seeing in, in mainland China, which has been... We'll call it 60, 70 percent of, of the growth, incremental growth story for Tesla. How do they do that? Those cars are cheaper. They're nice. I, I saw them on the streets. I tested them. H how are they going to reverse that kind of growth for trend? Hold prices, hold margins. We're going to basically bet on our brand, no different than what Apple has done. And I think many others, including Microsoft, depending on the, on the products. But give the strategy there. What are the targets? And, and Sarah, they have to give guidance. What's the targets on growth, realistically? What do margins look like? Where does it trough out at? AI, Musk, the 25% threat, recommit, keeping AI within Tesla, showing FSD, showing autonomy. That's been the problem here, is that if you had an adult in the room to navigate, the stock, I think 30% of the sell-off here has really been Musk-driven, mm -hmm. but it all comes down to, like, you could talk to talk, you got to walk to walk.